I mean, I don't know how everyone saw it. I mean, I kind of, at first instinct, had it. I mean, it's a racing incident. It's a racing incident. My first instinct, if I had to lay blame, I'm like 60-40 Peko, maybe 55-45 Peko, right? Just because he's the one that's gone into the side of the other guy. But really, it is very much a, you know. I mean, let me know in the comments how you saw it. But yeah, complete racing incident for me. I think it's the right decision by the stewards in the end. But the more interesting point, I think... This is the beginnings of this bubbling up of this Rossi Marquez thing because this has brought Marquez to the front against these boys while they're at their best. And I'm talking about these boys as in the academy boys, the Rossi Academy lads. It's the first time where Mark's going to be consistently at the front while these guys are kind of at the front. We look at Pecco, if Bez gets himself up there and if any of these other lads, Morbidelli at any point and Digi, because he's kind of in it, he's part of it now, he's riding for the team. If these guys find themselves with Mark on track, like how aggressive is it going to get? Because I just feel like, I'm not saying like Rossi's sending guys out there or Uchio is sending guys out there to do this, but I think in their head, they have this loyalty to Rossi. They probably came through the ranks as younger guys, just not liking Mark at all. And I can really see this like potentially becoming a thing or throughout the season, like a bit of a theme. These just throwing uh, hammer blows at each other. And could they come together again at another point in the season? I think they definitely could. Because I don't think they're going to take a backward step to Mark. And we know Mark doesn't take a backward step to anyone. Yeah, excited. <laughs> a bit of a rivalry on our hands here, which would be cool. That would be cool. Bit of old school elbows out. 